Hey what's going on guys Tanmay here for simple snippets and welcome back to another video tutorial on data structures and algorithms and as the title of the video suggest today's topic is rules and pseudo code of postfix to prefix expression conversion using stack data structure so in this tutorial we're going to see the rules as well as the pseudo code which is required to convert a postfix expression into a prefix expression so this is like part 1 and in part 2 we will write a c++ program so implement it practically but for that we need to understand the rules as well as the pseudo code and if you've missed any of the previous tutorials on prefix postfix infix and stack data structure do check out this entire course i've pretty much explained it in detail also in previous tutorial we saw the manual conversion of postfix to prefix and vice versa so you can check that out as well and with that being said let's get started If you're new to my channel, my name is Tanmay Sakpal and I do a lot of computer science and information technology video tutorials like computer programming development, technology talks and a lot more on this channel. So if that's something you're interested into, then definitely subscribe and turn on the notifications to get the latest updates and never miss out on such important topics. So before we go to postfix to prefix using stack, you can see on the top we have convert postfix to prefix manual conversion. and on the right hand side we have the same question that is same postfix expression which we have to convert using stack data structure on the left hand side we have the rules but we'll go through them in a minute let's come to the center portion where we convert postfix to prefix using manual method now as i mentioned i've already discussed the manual method in previous tutorial so i'm just quickly going to show you the result because then we will take that result and cross check it with our conversion using stack data structure Okay so this is how the entire process would go for the manual process of converting a postfix to prefix expression you'll take the postfix expression you'll start from left to right and you'll find the first instance of two operands and one operator and convert it to its prefix format so that's why you can see ab plus becomes plus ab in the prefix format then you consider plus ab as x1 so that's how we get x1 and then you repeat the entire process till all the different sub expressions are converted to its respective postfix format and ultimately you get this result okay so this is the final prefix expression of this postfix string now this was the exact postfix string which was question number 3 in previous tutorial so if you are still confused you can check it out how the process goes but we are going to now take this result and let's write it over here and now we will use the stack data structure to convert this same postfix string you can see there is the same postfix string to its prefix format and then the answer that we get we'll cross check it with the manual conversion so that we can verify whether our process is going right or wrong okay so this was manual method now let's see the pseudo code because the rules and the pseudo code are pretty much the same just in different formats okay so on the left most side we have rules for postfix to prefix using stack data structure and in the center we have the same rules which are converted into pseudo code format because obviously when we write a c++ program this pseudo code is much more understandable and easy to convert into a code okay these rules are just english written steps which are a little difficult to convert into a program into a working program in any general purpose programming language however pseudo code is much more simpler to convert into a code okay so we'll go through the pseudo code because this rules and pseudo code are pretty much the same thing represented in two different ways so for every instruction in the pseudo code we have a corresponding rule in the rules okay so we'll try to explain that okay now starting off with the function we create a function named postfix to infix you take the postfix string because we have to convert postfix to prefix okay the vice versa process we'll discuss in some other tutorial in next tutorials right now we are only dealing with converting a postfix string to its prefix format directly we already discussed postfix to infix infix to postfix prefix to infix infix to prefix in previous tutorials in this course in this playlist so you can check that out but anyways moving on step number 1 we create a stack s okay so obviously when we write code we will create a stack data structure stack object so on the right hand side you can see this huge container let's call it stack s okay next thing is we loop from i equals to 0 till the postfix dot length now on the top this is the postfix string this is the postfix expression but when we write a program when we look at it programmatically this is going to be a string of characters right so you can think of this as a string array 
with starting index position 0 and ending index position as 12. So the length of this string is going to be 13. And that's why we have a loop of starting from 0 to postfix.length. So we'll start from 0 till 12 in this case because our string is having a length of 13 from 0 index to 12. Okay. Now this loop that is step number 2 in the pseudocode corresponds to rule number 1 in the rules of postfix to prefix which says scan the postfix expression from left to right which essentially means from the start to the end. Okay. Alright. Now inside this loop we have 2.1 and 2.2 which means we have two parts in this loop and these two parts are nothing but if and else if conditions. So 2.1 is for if the postfix of i that is the current character that we are scanning if it is an operand and 2.2 is for operator. Now if you observe this postfix string you can see that we either have variables that is the operands or you have operators which is plus minus raise to divide by and multiplication. So in a postfix expression in fact even in a prefix expression we only have two types of symbols two type of characters either the character is going to be operand which can be any constant a variable or a sub expression or it can be an operator. So operator is this arithmetic operator which is plus minus divide by multiplication and raise to. So these are the five characters which are considered as operators in our case. So only these two use cases we have that's why we have only two use cases 2.1 and 2.2. So if it is an operand that is if it is a b c d any variable we simply push it onto the stack. Okay so you can see s dot push postfix of i. So take that postfix of i which is the character that we are looping. So i is the iterator right. So whichever character we are scanning currently if it is an operand we simply push it onto the stack and else if the postfix of i is an operator, operator is nothing but as I mentioned plus minus divide by multiplication and raise to. So in that case what you do you create operand 1 you take the top of the stack then you pop the top of the stack that is remove it off then you create operand 2 op2 again take the top of the stack remove that also then step number 2.2.5 you create this expression which is a sub prefix expression which says postfix of i which is going to be the operator plus op2 which is operand 2 plus op1 which is operand 1 and this will create the sub prefix expression which we will push onto the stack in 2.2.6 and then you end the loop and ultimately after this entire scanning of this entire expression you return the top of the stack. Okay. Now 2.1 is corresponding to rule number 2 in the rules which says if incoming symbol is an operand you simply push it onto the stack. That's what we are doing that is in 2.1 if postfix of i is an operand you simply push it onto the stack. 2.2 is corresponding to rule number 3 which says if the incoming symbol is an operator pop two operands from the stack that is remove two operands from the stack add the incoming operator at the start of the two operands basically make a sub prefix string and push this whole new expression string back into the stack and at the end which is going to be this step the last line in the pseudocode which corresponds to rule number four which says at the end pop and print the full prefix expression from the stack. So I know things are not really very clear because I just read out the pseudocode as well as the rules but now actually let's just apply this pseudocode onto our existing string and let's see how these rules apply okay because now we are going to convert this postfix expression to its corresponding prefix expression using the stack data structure okay so step number one of the pseudocode is to create the stack s that is what we have over here it is an empty stack right now okay so next step is to loop from i equals to 0 and we will go till the postfix dot length which is 13 in this case so from 0 to 12 is the iteration. Okay, let's track i. So I'm going to write i equals to 0. So we are at this position. Now inside this loop, we will take this postfix of i, which is postfix of 0 for now. We will see is it an operand? Yes, it is an operand in this case. So we will push it onto the stack. Okay. So a is pushed onto the stack. So a is the top of the stack. Okay, let's move forward. Now since 2.1 got executed that is the if block got executed this 2.2 will not be executed that's how if and else if works right. So either it will be an operand or it will be an operator. Since 2.2 that is since it is an operand it is not an operator. So we'll come at the end of the loop i will become 1. Now we will move forward we will come over here. 
what is this this is b b is also a operand so we will simply push b also onto the stack so this is the new top of the stack let's move forward i will now become 2 so we are at this index position and now if you see if postfixify is a operand no it is not a operand so obviously 2.1 will not be executed 2.2 will be executed because it is a operator operator is anything which is plus minus divide by raise to and multiply right so since it is an operator what we do we say op1 let's write op1 over here equals to s dot top what is the top of the stack it is b so i'm gonna write b over here the next thing is we say s dot pop so 2.2.1 is done 2.2.2 says s dot pop which means we have to simply remove this top of the stack so i remove this and now the new top of the stack is a Remember pop function in a stack is to remove the top of the stack. So moving on at 2.2.3 we say op2 let's write op2 over here equals to s dot top and now the new top of the stack is a so I'm gonna write a over here. So this is done 2.2.3 now moving on to 2.2.4 which says s dot pop so I'm gonna remove this also. Now the stack is empty. So at 2.2.5 if you observe you can see we have to create this expression I'm gonna write exp over here equals to we say postfix of i what is postfix of i currently we are at index position 2 and at index position 2 we have a plus sign so i'm gonna write plus over here we have op2 what is op2 op2 is a you can see i've written over here what is op1 op1 is b so i'm gonna write b over here so this is our exp at 2.2.5 and we're simply gonna push this exp into the stack at 2.2.6 so i'm gonna write plus a b and now this is going to be the top of the stack. Now if you observe this is exactly a prefix expression for this postfix expression. So ab plus is postfix plus ab is prefix. So you can see we are slowly converting small small sub parts of this postfix expression to its appropriate prefix string. Okay so let's move forward now. So now that the 2.2 else if part is completely done all the six steps we come at the end of the loop we go at the start of the loop and now i becomes three so we are at this index position it is c c is a operand we push it onto the stack right so c becomes the new top of the stack then we move forward i becomes four now at index position four we have a minus operator so it is an operator hence 2.2 will be executed we say op1 is equal to s dot top what is the top of the stack c so c goes in op1 then at 2.2.2 we say s dot pop so we remove this c from the stack the new top of the stack is plus ab at 2.2.3 we say op2 is equal to s dot top so op2 will have plus ab now because that is the top of the stack then 2.2.4 says remove that by saying s dot pop we remove it at 2.2.5 we say this exp is equal to postfix of i what is postfix of i currently it is minus we are at index position 4 that is a operator minus then we say op2 what is op2 op2 is plus a b and we say plus op1 what is op1 it is c so this is the new exp that we formed and then we have to simply push it onto the stack so i'm gonna write minus plus a b c so now this becomes the top of the stack so again this is a prefix string sub prefix string of this corresponding postfix string and we are slowly building our prefix string into the stack and ultimately after we reach the end we will have our result but let's move forward now after 2.2.6 is done we will come at the end of the loop and i will now become 5 so at index position 5 we have d i'm gonna put it onto the stack similarly you can see at index position 6 and 7 also we have operands that is e and f so let's write e and f also onto the stack quickly and not waste time so when we will be at index position 7 that is i equals to 7 till then we will keep pushing the characters because they are operands so we will push them onto the stack now after index position 7 when i becomes 8 that's when we have a raise to sign which is a operator right so again we will follow 2.2.2 we will say op1 is equal to s dot top which is f then we will say 2.2.2 which is 
as dot pop remove that f so the new top of the stack becomes e then at 2.2.3 we say op2 is equal to s dot top s dot top is currently e that is e is the top of the stack which will go in op2 then we will pop this e at 2.2.4 then at 2.2.5 we will create this expression saying postfix of i which is raised to sign op2 is e and op1 is f so this expression we will push onto the stack at 2.2.6 we will say raised to e and f and this becomes the new top of the stack okay now we'll move forward i will become 9 and at index position 9 we have one more raised to sign so again 2.2 will be executed we will say op1 is s dot top what is the top of the stack now it is raised to e and f then 2.2.2 says remove that top of the stack using s dot pop after that we will say op2 is equal to s dot top what is the top of the stack now it is d so op2 will become d then at 2.2.4 we will remove that top of the stack then we will create this expression exp by saying postfix of i which is again a raised to sign then we will say op2 what is op2 op2 is d then we will say plus op1 what is op1 it is raised to e and f and this exp prefix sub expression is what we have to push onto the stack at 2.2.6 so we will say raised to d raised to e and f so this we will push onto the stack and this is the top of the stack okay so now we will say i plus plus that is we will go to the next symbol which is index position 10 so i becomes 10 again we have one more star sign which is again a operator so again 2.2 will be executed we will say op is s dot top what is the top of the stack it is raised to d raised to e and f then we will pop that at 2.2.2 then we will say op2 is s dot top what is the top of the stack it is minus plus a b c so op2 is equal to minus plus a b c then we will again pop this top of the stack and then we will create our expression exp by saying postfix of i which is star symbol this time so i'm gonna write star then what is op2 op2 is minus plus a b c then we have to concatenate op1 which is raised to d raised to e and f so this my friends is the entire sub prefix expression that we have to push onto the stack at 2.2.6 so let me write it down star minus plus a b c raised to d raised to e f and this is now going to be the top of the stack so you can see slowly we are building our prefix prefix expression as we progress through the entire postfix string now again i will be incremented i will become 11 at index position 11 we have a operand g so g will be simply pushed onto the stack because if it is an operand we have to simply push it onto the stack this becomes the new top of the stack then i will become 12 and we will arrive at the last character of the postfix expression which is a divide by sign which is again a operator so again we will say op1 is equal to top of the stack at 2.2.1 which is g now then we will remove the top of the stack then we will say op2 is equal to this whole top of the stack expression which is star minus plus a b c raised to d raised to e f okay so this is op2 then we will remove this also from the stack at 2.2.4 and lastly we will create the final expression exp so let me write exp over here which is gonna be the postfix of i what is postfix of i we are at the last character which is divided by then we have op2 op2 is this whole sub expression let me write it down star minus plus abc raised to d raised to e and f so that is op2 and plus op1 op1 is simply g and this my friends is basically the final answer that we have to push onto the stack so i'm gonna just copy and put it over here and at 2.2.6 we will push this exp onto the stack and if you observe this is basically our final answer because we have arrived at the end of the postfix string so this loop will stop working we will come outside this loop at the end of the loop 
and after this we will just say return as dot top so currently the top of the stack is, is this prefix string which if you observe let me just paste it over here also as the answer let me just write it properly it is divided by then we have star then we have minus plus a b c raise to d raise to e f and g now if you compare this prefix string with the manual conversion it is exactly same which means our rules and pseudocode is working perfectly fine and we have successfully converted the postfix expression which is this one to its corresponding prefix expression using stack data structure using this pseudocode and this rules now you can go ahead and take some easier examples and apply the same pseudocode apply the same rules we took a little lengthy example because it will cover all the rules and give you a good practice so this was the entire conversion of postfix to prefix expression using stack data structure where we discussed the rules as well as the pseudocode so if you like this video if you understood this video please give it a thumbs up please give it a like let me know in the comments how this video was do share it with your friends in the next tutorial obviously we will implement this pseudocode and convert it to a proper programming language using c++ programming and write a program to convert a postfix expression to prefix expression so thanks for watching see you in the next one peace